Rebecca, former Clutterholic, founder of ClutterClearing.net, uh, recording my weekly vlog for my own clutter clearing journey, which relates uh, to my weight loss. Uh, so, five success factors, feedback and learning, method, doing the doing, time and support. How have I got on this week? This week I have stayed the same, which is frustrating. Because on Saturday, I, I weigh myself on a, thir a Tuesday, and that's the, the weight I record, and I weigh myself on a Saturday morning as well. And on Saturday morning, I had lost three pounds. So what that means is that since Saturday morning, I have actually put on three pounds. Very frustrating. Um, <laughs> half want to uh, record Saturday's weight <laughs> instead. Um, but... Uh, as I may have uh, said to you before, I do have a app uh, to track my food and to track um, how much uh, I uh, should be uh, eating. It's about the only app that I actually understand and use. I'm not into apps normally. But it is very, very interesting. So I'm going to show it to you. Hopefully you can kind of see it. Now, uh, you will see. You will see uh, that this top line, it, it goes according to days and at the, the left hand side is the calories. Now, the blue is, sorry, the blue is the calories. Uh, the dotted line is is my target, my if you like, my maximum per day. And you can see on here that on a Wednesday, Friday and yesterday, Monday, the blue column is very low because those are my fast days. So that's when I have a three egg omelette, a uh, three egg cheese omelette for dinner and that's it. This end column is the average for the week. So I need to make sure that my average for the week is not above that dotted line. The next line down, the red one, is the total fat. Uh, so again, I need to make sure that my average for the week at the end is uh, no higher than that dotted line. My carbs, now remember I'm, I'm doing a low carb uh, uh, and sugar uh, eating plan um, and that also needs to be below the dotted line and then the bottom one is the protein I don't really worry about the protein so the green one is the protein now what's really interesting is that for this week um, I've stayed the same my calories overall are absolutely fine they're pretty much bang on that dotted line so you would think well hang on a minute Claire surely you should have lost weight however my carbs are above that dotted line, as you can probably see uh, last Thursday, last Saturday and last Sunday, went a bit wrong. Um, and so my carbs are quite massively over that dotted line. That dotted line is so low <laughs> uh, on, the, on the graph. And that to me reminds me that I am very, very carb sensitive because my calories are fine, my fat is fine, my protein is fine, but my, my carbs is not fine for the week. Now, I know why that was on Saturday and Sunday. I know why my carbs were so high. Um, on Saturday, we went uh, to a garden centre. Love the particular garden centre that we went to. Um, to get some plants, to get some fish. Some more fish for the pond. Um, and they have a coffee shop. And uh, they do nice cakes. And I had a piece of cake. Um which of course has flour in, which is carbs. And if I'm particularly carb sensitive, which I clearly am, uh, that didn't help. But, eat, but, but it wasn't just a cake, because I've had cake before and, and it hasn't thrown me off course. Um, Saturday night, my husband uh, surprised me and said, we're going out, we're going out for dinner. We went to a lovely pub in Banbury uh, called The Ranger, very, very old, Oliver Cromwell. Uh, went there. Uh, they have what's called a globe room out the back uh, and that's where he planned uh, an attack uh, locally uh, in Edge, Edge Hill. So steeped in historical, I think it come, I think it was built in like 1300 something. Um, my husband really likes it because it's an oldie worldy pub. I like it, it's got a lovely atmosphere and of course they have pub food and I made a bad choice. Or oh, sorry, not a bad choice. I made yeah, I made a bad choice for me. I had a, a hamburger and chips. I don't eat chips. I haven't eaten potatoes for I don't know how long. And I ate those chips. And I ate the burger bun. Guess what? Carbs. Chips, bun, carbs. I'm carb sensitive. Didn't help. 
Uh, and I also had a glass of red wine and I barely drink these days. Can't remember, well, probably Christmas was the last time I had any alcohol. Um, so again, I was I was kind of mischievous. I sh I, what I could have had uh, was actually the steak uh, and just asked for green, extra green veg instead of chips. That's what I, I, I did last year when we went there. So again, learning, feedback, need to make more appropriate choices because I am very carb sensitive as that graph clearly uh, shows. So uh, fingers crossed this week if, if, if my husband doesn't surprise me and take me out for dinner because that's really awful when he does that. <laughs> <laughs> but if he does, again, uh, just making a, a more, more informed uh, decision. Uh, so that that was uh, th that explains why I, I stayed the same, or rather, put on three pounds since Saturday. Um, thank you for sharing. Julia uh, has, has shared on the Facebook page for last week's video. Um, she said, uh, let, "Where is it?" She shared um, last week. She decided to grow, go to her. A weight loss group on Thursday instead of I think it was either Monday or Tuesday and uh, she found she'd lost a pound yay um, and she also had a stressful day on uh, Thursday I think it was um, but she made it home and pulled an emergency dinner a home cooked dinner from the freezer so again, great Julia's got her <laughs> emergency stack if you like uh, in place I'm also very conscious that I don't have food in the freezer. Um, if you like, like Julia's emergency dinner, I don't have emergency food. Um, so if I'm in that comfort eating zone uh, and myself or my husband are going out uh, to, to, to get essentials, as we call them, um, much more likely to overeat when I do that rather than if I've got stuff in the fridge and the freezer so Julia I'm gonna take your uh, your sharing and, and consciously apply it this week so thank you for that um, also feedback and learning uh, last Tuesday went into town had my counseling session with Marisa um, and proudly went off going I'm going off to get measured for new bras <laughs> sorry this may be information overshare um and i went into marks and spencers which is a department store here and asked for for them to measure me and she measured me and she said my goodness uh, your bra fits really well <laughs> she said it's sitting nicely it's good across the back you're wearing the right size now this was really interesting learning and feedback for me because it reminded me or fed back to me that i have spent probably my entire adult life wearing the wrong size bra <laughs> because for me wearing the right size feels strange it feels as if it's not the right size but the only reason for that is that I clearly haven't been wearing the right size for my entire adult life um so yeah so it saved me some money as well because uh, I didn't need to buy new bras I did buy a couple of new tops I bought this one for example just just casual um uh and this this is a size 16 and it is a little bit too big um so again my brain is is trying to catch up probably need to wear a 14 i bought i bought a size 16 jumper uh in, De in debenhams another department store <clears throat> that is actually too big uh so that's lovely <laughs> so instead of buying on bras i bought uh, about a couple of tops but again i didn't go mad and i didn't i didn't buy expensive stuff because i know that it's going to be relatively short term other feedback and learn learning uh, my counseling session last week was really interesting um basically in a nutshell um i've probably been overthinking things guess what lots of my clients have that problem we overthink rather than taking action it's action that's going to make the difference not thinking and analyzing um so some things i have probably overthought um and i've also been focused what i've realized since uh, the counseling is that i've probably been focusing on things that I, I i can't change uh and and things that are that are in the past now that's going to lead on to something else that i'm, I'm going to share with you in a minute um and <laughs> yeah i kind of realized as well talking to her that that i think we almost have this default setting don't we of that we can't just go hey you know what everything's really good I'm really happy with with life at the moment um, 
and yeah and that I need to accept that it's okay uh, to be happy with my life and to not actually have any real problems of course daily challenges um, but to not have any major issues it's okay <laughs> it's almost like we 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 uh, uh, can believe that we have to have some sort of problem there has to be some fault with our lives uh, and uh, you know what I, I don't feel like I'm there uh, actually I am really happy uh, with with life I'm happy with work I'm really happy with my husband uh, you know things are good <laughs> so that's okay just just stop trying to find fault and that probably links in actually thinking about it with that overthinking and the focusing on the things that I can't change uh, you know there are things that I would like to change from the past but I can't change them so forget about it <laughs> let it go let it go there's a song apparently about that isn't there a children's cartoon or something hey anyway, um oh and then last night last night i had quite a light bulb moment um that's why i'm at the board because i'm going to draw a very bad diagram um what i kind of realized last night this may be right this might be wrong talk to marissa about it this week if you've seen my video about uh, your clutter clearing journey you'll know that i make the comparison to your journey is effectively getting from one side of a mountain range to another. And what you have to do is you have to climb and scale several mountains uh, to get to the other side of the mountain range. OK, and the number of mountains that you have uh, relates to how many rooms you have that need uh, the clutter cleared in. Same with the weight journey. The number of mountains that you need to scale for me relates to each mountain relates to a stone or 14 pounds uh, in weight okay so i've been merrily where am i let's draw myself so i started off here with my weight loss journey and i essentially have scaled loads of mountains yeah i've scaled seven because i've lost seven stone 98 pounds i think that is okay so i've been merrily getting here and yet yeah, feeling you know, a, a, a bit overwhelmed, uh, but then get here, da, 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 seven of them. And what I kind of realised is that what I've been doing is I, with each stone loss that I've had, when I've got to certain milestones, I've been comparing it to my past. So, for example, uh, let's imagine... That this is the, the, the scale. Now, um, there was a point on my journey where I got to the same weight that I was. Uh, I'm going to put 2009. So when I did Weight Watchers in 2009. And that was great. That was significant. And the next milestone for me in terms of weight is when I did Weight Watchers in 2001. But I've realised that that... So I'm, I am kind of... I'm not a, uh, there, but let's say I'm there because I've passed this, this 2009 weight that I was at. And if you like, the next mental one is, is, is the, the, the 2001 weight. And what I've realised is that I actually need to change that. Because again, this whole sort of focusing on things I can't change and trying to get back to where I was is not appropriate. The person that I was in 2001, when I had my clutter challenge, or no, I dealt with my clutter challenge and then I did the weight loss with Weight Watchers. I'm a different person to who I was then. Um, back then, I was single, living in a different home, had, uh, uh, was starting up clutter clearing. Life was very different then. Whereas now, when I get to the same weight that I was in 2001, I, life will be completely different because I, I now live in Banbury. I'm doing clutter clearing uh, full time. I am um, uh, married. <laughs> Uh, have four cats what am I thinking uh, so although if you like the, the the pounds may be the same in terms of my weight my life will not be the same so I need to 
refocus. I need to reclarify that goal because it's not trying to, it's not, I am, even though the weight will be the same as it was in 2001, life will not be the same. And if I'm not careful, if I focus on what life was like in 2001, I could be really disappointed because life won't be like that. It can't be because it will be 2017. Um, so I need, yeah, I need to re-clarify and refocus on what is it, what is it that I want to have achieved by the time I get here. Obviously, the weight is the obvious thing, because um, that's a tangible, that's a visible, you can see that on the scales. Um, but, but in terms of the rest of life, because I don't want to get to this point and then get disappointed, because it's not the same as 2001, because that could kick in self-sabotage. Oh, well, it's not as great as I thought it was going to be. And I think this can be a challenge as well with our physical clutter in our homes because we're trying to get, not trying to, we can sometimes think, oh, well, when I bought this thing, life was really good, da, 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 so I'm going to keep it, I'm going to use it, and then life will be great again. And perhaps similar to this, it's not the same. It can never be the same because it's a completely different year. Uh, as well as the circumstances. So, for example, when I had my clutter challenge, I used to justify keeping, um, uh, I had a whole lot of crockery and candlesticks and um, servers and everything because when I bought them, I thought, great, I'm going to do loads of entertaining and I'm going to have dinner parties and barbecues and all these sorts of things. And so when I tried to clear my clutter on my own uh, by blitzing and weeding, I didn't want to let go of them because I was going, no, because I bought these because I wanted to do loads of entertaining and maybe even I had done a bit of entertaining and no, because my life, when I get the clutter cleared, is going to involve that again because that's what I wanted to do when I bought them. That was the intention of buying them. And I had to realise that actually, no, we're not going backwards. We're not trying to get back, go back in time as we clear this mountain range. We need to let go of the clutter in order to move on. Um, and so I let go of all the crockery and the cutlery and the, the servers and everything that I bought with good intention to do all this entertaining. Now, the irony was that when I had cleared my clutter, I did start doing uh, barbecues, dinner parties. Uh, and there, there was a part of me to begin with which thought, oh, but I got rid of all of those really nice things, matching sets da, 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 and the candles. Da, da. I mean, and then I realised, you know what? Actually, the stuff doesn't matter. What matters is that I am entertaining in my home. I have people around. They don't care whether plates and cups and candles and everything match and looks beautiful. They're here for the the social that they're here for the memories uh they're here for my company not because of my stuff and um i had i i learned to say to friends that if i if i didn't have enough of something um can you bring can you bring a can i borrow a serving dish can i borrow this can i borrow that um so it's almost that learning to ask for help so again making that shift, I've got to do this with my weight clutter, I've got to make this shift of, I'm not trying to get back to who I was in 2001. The only thing that's gonna be the same when I get to this weight is the weight. Life is gonna be very different and I need to, I need to crystallize that. I need to, to get clearer about, you know, what will life at that weight be like in 2017? because I'm going to get there this year. Um, so what will my life be like when I get to that weight this year rather than 2001? It might be that I sit down and I think about it and I think actually there were some things in 2001 which actually I would quite like to include and have part of uh, uh, my, my goal for 2017. Um, it's not trying to say that everything has to go, but it's just saying life is very different. Now, 16 years difference. So, so this is essentially my worksheet seven in terms of clutter clearing uh, concepts. Uh, I need to do my worksheet seven for how life will be at this weight in 2017 rather than 2001. 
Make sense? Sorry about the bad drawing. <laughs> so that's a lot of learning and feedback again this 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 week. Uh, method, still aware that I've been sabotaging uh, due to the habit of comfort eating or lack of willpower. For example, that spontaneous date night on Saturday night that I mentioned. Um, I know I need to get more food in the house so that if I do comfort eat, at least I'm comfort eating the right foods rather than carbs and sugar. That's uh, thanks to Julia that I, that I kind of realized that about the method. Doing the doing. Yesterday, I increased the resistance uh, at the gym and the number of reps of exercises that I do at the gym. I went up from level five to level six on the cross trainer. I'm now climbing the Taj Mahal on the Stairmaster and really pleased because I managed to climb that without having to take a break. 20 uh, 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 levels. Uh, so I was really pleased with that yesterday. Um, and on the, the, the rings, I did four sets rather than three sets. Likewise with the sit-ups and uh, the weights on the ball and the ball on a stick. Uh, and I really did notice that, that difference. Just one more set or, or one higher level. So that's good. Uh, it feels really nice to feel it. Uh, and of course, I've got my swimathon this Friday. 100 lengths still an opportunity please do sponsor me if you can 100 lengths in the pool there will be videos uh, or a video uh, of <laughs> only two lengths because I said to my husband it's going to get really boring after two lengths so just video what two lengths um so yes so the doing the doing is, is continuing time uh in terms of the time yes I really want to get here uh and I got to be patient because I am doing the doing I'm doing the climbing um, but at this week, it reminded me, I, I was, it kind of remind, I was reminded of the need for patience because I spent time in the garden, spent time on Saturday and Sunday on the garden, in the garden, could have done with, with working on Sunday, recording some new videos, a new video series that I'm excited about doing. Um, but I thought, no, actually gardening is my reward and I feel so much better for, for having spent some time in the garden. I hadn't realised how strong this link to nature is for me. Still loads of frogs in the pond, don't know what they're doing, because <laughs> there's no more frog spawn. Um, but um, there are certain things in the garden that remind me of the need for patience. So, for example, we've got some baby fish, two baby fish. They're black, they're, they're about this long. And you have to be patient. They will colour up. Hopefully they'll colour up this year, because they're getting quite big. Um, but you have to be patient. They will do it in their own time. They are growing. Uh, they are doing whatever they need to do. You may not see the difference, but there is a change going on. Um, the seeds I've sown um, two weeks ago, no, a week ago, I sowed um, uh, sunflower seeds. Uh, if you've seen previous videos, you'll know that myself and my, my uh, father-in-law, Frank, who I was very close to, and he died in, in, in November 2015, uh, every year I used to, uh, we used to do sunflowers together. So I would sow the seeds in pots and then I would give him three, one to represent himself, me and Keith, my husband, his son. So he would put three sunflowers in his garden, usually get beheaded <laughs> or not grow. And I'd have three in my garden to represent the three of us. Um, so this year I've, I've sown uh, Frank's seeds and, and my seeds uh, and a few extra just in case. So we've got 12 sunflowers. They're starting to pierce and come up as well. But seeds, we need patience because uh, they're not, got, you know, they do take anywhere between a week and three weeks to germinate. So it looks in the pots as if nothing's happening, but there is stuff going on under the surface that we can't necessarily see. Exactly the same with weight loss, exactly the same with clearing our clutter. Um, and also uh, the patience as well, because uh, in the garden, because it's all relatively new. Uh, my husband finished the path in the garden at the weekend, very pleased about that. Um, putting plants in, going to the garden center on Saturday was really hard because <laughs> there were so many beautiful plants. And I'm being really patient with not just getting loads of plants. Um, I'm just doing a couple of plants at a time. I've got strawberries because it's time for strawberries. Strawberries in hanging baskets. We eat a lot of strawberries, so very excited about the strawberries growing. Um, I've got a buddleia plant because that will grow and that's really good for the bees and the butterflies and we need to help nature. So I've got one of those and I know where that's going to go. I'm not quite sure what other plants we need. I don't think we need a huge number. But again, 
I don't need a lot of plants and we need to be patient so that the, the plants can grow and establish themselves in their spot. So rather than compacting loads of plants in so it looks it doesn't look too bare, give it a couple of years and the plants will just fill into their space. Um, so again, gardening really reminds me of the need for patience with any journey, uh, however frustrating it is uh, that, that you wish it was done like now. And then finally, uh, the support element of my success. Uh, Counselling continues, as does the TRE. Had quite a good visualisation during my TRE session last week, uh, which is unusual because I haven't had a visualis visualisation during it for, for, for quite a while. Um, and that, re that, I believe, led to my realisation over the last couple of days uh, about the need to focus on the future, the 2017 goal, rather than the, 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 the past uh, 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 level uh, as it were um, and I'm also sure that those of you who are coming to the spring event on Saturday this Saturday uh, I have no doubt that we will have loads of, of uh, support and sharing and learning and feedback um, uh, because we are all on a journey so I really hope uh, that you'll come to the spring event because I'm really looking forward to it gonna have to be careful I'm, I'm gonna have to be careful with not eating the carbs uh, making sure that they have something uh, on in the buffet uh, lunch that is not carb related. All right, that's it. Sorry, slightly longer video than normal. Uh, I hope you've had a good week. Do share, do click on the link below and sponsor me for my swimathon, please. Uh, and uh, yeah, my goal for this week is to lose those uh, three pounds that I put on since Saturday. Uh, so. If I stick away from the, the, the carbs, I have no doubt uh, that I will manage to do that. Uh, have a good week. I'll see you same time, same place next week. Take care. Bye-bye.